So this is, we're going to be talking about Bodhi drama, okay? So it says a large number of OSRS streamers, including Bodhi, have been signed by streaming on site kick.com. I remember Bodhi saying he wouldn't go unless they offered a ton of money. Seems like they did. Bodhi definitely got a bag. I'm pretty sure Bodhi got more money than me. Happy for him. Honestly, very happy for Bodhi. You know, you know what I like about Bodhi? First of all, he doesn't involve himself in drama. He has nothing bad to say about any streamer. And he always minds his own business. Why can't people be happy for this man? Listen, chat, wallah, I can't specify this enough. But I see a lot of people say, a lot of streamers say this. They say, I would never leave my community. I built this community for years on end and I would never leave it. But what kind of community won't go and support you to a different website because you're going and attaining a bag? That's not even a good community at that point. Well, most of my viewers all came to kick. I would say 99% of the boys all came over when I got signed to kick. It's so cringe. Like they're not even willing to support you on a different website because you're securing generational wealth for you and your family to have some more money. Anyways. <clears throat> Let's see. Happy for him, but yeah, sticking to YouTube videos from now on. What is it like? You're so... Ugh, you're so hateful! Go watch his YouTube videos and go get him revenue there, then asshole. Mr. Eggy Chicken Egg 88 Can't be happy for him, huh? Says happy for him, but then throws a little sly backhand compliment going, Yeah, I'm sticking to the YouTube videos from now on. You're not happy for him, then. Go stop by and say congratulations, bro. I don't even see the logic in that. Like, Eggy Chicken, huh? Eggy Chicken 88 I'm YouTube locked account here as well. Bro, what is this? Like, it blows my mind, bro. Good for Bodhi financially right here, right now. But I do think it's a bit hilarious. The guy who's constantly throwing around life advice and taking the moral high ground. Most likely sold out for some big money here. And now Twitch comes at the cost of the growth of his stream and supporting Kick, of course. I don't know about that. I, I, I'm, I'm boggled. I don't see how somebody's a sellout for taking a, a, a kick sponsor. You're, you're getting signed as a streamer, as a content creator over at a different platform and you're getting paid more money to do so. I can understand if it's a gambling sponsor, that's a sellout. I can understand why people would be mad because it could be ruining lives and such like that, but it's not. I, I, I think Bodhi did nothing wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, he is securing him and his family's financial security and there's nothing wrong with what he did. Bodhi's making a smart decision while... Uh, also not doing anything degenerate. So many people go and waste their money at casinos and talk high and muddy about a man doing what's best for himself and his family. I completely agree, bro. He's doing nothing wrong but streaming RuneScape on a different platform. What's so wrong about that, bro? He's still playing the game that he loves. He's still been streaming that the game he's been streaming for the last 10 years. He's not taking a gambling sponsor. It's just streaming on a different platform. The Duel Arena is bad. It's just an unregulated casino. Must be removed from the game. It's hurting players and destroying their life. Oh, stake our unregulated casino. Wanted to pay ridiculous amounts of money to stream on kick and act as a funnel to lead viewers to stake on a regular casino. That will destroy people's lives. I got to stream gambling on stake with the hours, money, money, a week. Okay, no problem. There's a reason why Kick is signing these streamers for so much money. They buy them to sell gambling to their fans. Well, none of us took a gambling sponsor. I can see what this guy is saying, though. His, his point is, is that Kick signs these streamers so they can be funneled into stake somehow. That, that's, his, that's his take, right? And they make all their money through stake, obviously. This is, I, I can say that this is a fair take, but you got to realize that, first of all, none of us took a gambling sponsor. I can't speak for everybody, but I know me and Bodhi did it. And uh, you could also hide it. So, it, you know, if you have a problem with gambling or you don't want to watch any gambling or you just want to go right on that website and just watch RuneScape only, it says content preferences. You could hide the no armor PKer streamers. So you could hide all the PKers that were no armor on. You could hide all the gambling and you could hide VR chat. Twitch doesn't even have this option for their gambling streamers or their hot tub streamers or their soft pornography where you could hide that shit right so bro i mean you could hide that on kick right they literally give that as an option uh are people forgetting that twitch used to funnel amazon prime subscriptions the company that forces to piss in bottles ah, bah, 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 bah. twitch is just as evil is what, I love. what people is what... don't realize is dale muncher is they are sponsored by DraftKings. so twitch is just as bad but for some reason people want to claim that twitch is good and mighty and high morals and yeah stick to this website and it's amazing and you know what i'm saying it's, it's just as bad you know what i'm saying i i don't understand it well, I think a lot of comments are suggesting that many streamers were highly against and actively thrashing kick till they got the deal that make their credibility lower. I personally don't care about the, their take is logical, but why not just be real from the start and say that you're waiting for a bigger deal? I mean, I can see where you're going from that, but why even be mad about that? So what? They, they, they told you that they're not going to take one and then they got offered life-changing money and they took one. Why would you even be mad about that? People can change their minds, you know? We're all human. Great for competition with Twitch, bad because kick. Why can't we get a half decent competitor with Twitch. YouTube vids it is. Remember people and especially creators won't try RS3 because MTX and gambling are bad. I understand they need to make money, but going to bed with companies like this is sad. Okay, this is just all... This, it has to be enviousness and jealousy. These are the same guys, no offense, but they're just going to their 9 to 5 job hating their life. I'm sorry, bro, but it's the truth. He literally specifically said that he turned down a gambling sponsor 
He has a command in his chat where you could type exclamation point hide, where you could hide any gambling content that pops up on any of the Kip website, any of the no gear on. Like, I don't, I don't see why people are so salty. This guy says, kick the site that supports a streamer that creates a distributes channel. Child, lovely people. Obviously, this is banned, chat. Whatever he linked, whatever streamer he linked is probably banned on Twitch and Kick or got a temporary ban or whatever it is. And there's dumb that have been predators on Twitch. Hello, my name is Jakeesh Demetrius, and this is my Bear SMP application. Started off, here are a few things about myself. I'm a 22-year-old Minecraft and just chatting streamer, and I've been streaming for like seven years. And my favorite part about streaming is the fact that I get to meet awesome people and make amazing friends. Right, you can't judge one guy for the whole platform. It just sounds right. Okay. I mean, look at Defy J recently in the RuneScape community. Supposedly, allegedly, what happened? That brother man was luring freaking female, RuneScape females to his house, entangling them, teleblocking them, wait for them in their sleep, and then using his dragon dagger, poison for unethical tactics. I mean, Defy J was in the RuneScape community on Twitch and he was doing that, right? I mean, you can't judge one guy's actions off the whole website. Oda Bodhi legit upgraded his uh, salary doing the same work he always does. What kind of person wouldn't do that? W man, 100%. He, he, literally, he literally said no to the gambling sponsor. What more do you want him to do? I said no to the gambling sponsor and still people are mad at me till this day. They're like, Oda, aren't you Muslim? Bro, how dare you go to that website? I'm not even gambling myself. I'm still streaming RuneScape every single day. Maybe some just chatting content, some fun shit, but that's about it. Oda, the gambling logic would uphold if the alternative is sunshine and rainbows, but Twitch are arguably worse. Bro, I'm saying, I'm literally saying, they do the same shit on this platform. I don't know why people are mad. You know what it is? People don't like change and people don't like when somebody's doing well. I'll tell you guys this piece of advice and I swear to God, it, it's gonna help you guys out. Whatever happens in you guys' life, whether it's good or really good or really extremely good, whatever you guys get a promotion or whatever you get this or something really good happens to you or your family, flesh. I swear to God, keep it in the family or keep it within yourself because it makes everybody more happier and people do not want to see you win, nor do people want to see you on the rise. They'll be like, oh, congratulations, man. I'm so happy for you. But at the end of the day, they're like, this guy, I swear to God, I can't believe what he got that. Even your coworkers and the people that you supposedly call friends. So at the end of the day, whatever happens good to you, just keep it to yourself, bro. Be happy about it. Anyways, let's continue. Didn't Bodhi ramble about how he wasn't going to join Kick for a long time? Uh, if Bodhi actually did say that, I mean, I still don't see why people would be mad at him for taking a deal. We're all human, right? We all say things that sometimes uh, that we don't mean. And not only that, we all say things that, that we regret saying. You know, and let's say you have an engineering job and another engineering job came up to you and you're like, man, I would never work for that company. I love my job here. And then they offer you $500 an hour or more at that location than they did at this location. You're going to be like, yo, Ronnie, I'll catch you later. I sent my two week notice. And then you're going straight to the other company. You know what I'm saying? Bodhi's all about the money anyways. Literally can't watch his streams because of his ad times. Oh, He's about to finish a TOA run. Let's see what he gets. Oh, never mind. Ad plays in the middle of P4. It's smart, but it's just really greedy. So this guy is also complaining that Bodhi was making money putting ads on Twitch. And he's calling them hella greedy. And he's implying him that he's hella greedy for moving over to Kick. Kick has no ads, by the way. I want you guys to know that. It's kind of ironic that this guy is shitting on Kick, but Kick has literally, it's ad free. You could go on Kick and you won't even watch one ad ever, ever. Goodbye, Mr. Boatman. Shame I didn't quite get my seven-year sub badge. Our ways are parting now, but thank you for all the awesome moments along the years. Nobody cares, lard-ass, butterball, porky. Nobody cares. You don't have to tell them that, asshole. You losers. So cringe how they type as well, bro. Bo's acting like Bodhi just died and he's at his funeral. It's so cringe, man. Let Bodhi leave. And all the other streamers, they give new opportunities for new streamers. We play a 20-year-old game with 2007 graphics. Big streamers leaving Twitch won't make a difference. The viewership on Twitch or SRS won't change. All right. So the highest viewed streamer in the old school RuneScape section right now is 334 viewers. Right now, old school RuneScape has 3.6k viewers. And I'm pretty sure Bodhi on Twitch used to pull that solo. So... Uh, that's kind of cap. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of a uh, cap. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bit of, <laughs> that's a little bit of cap. You know, that's just, that's only Bodhi. That's not even including everybody. Oh, that's Easter, bro. Doesn't matter. Bodhi was streaming on Easter. He would be live right now. He's probably streaming on kick right now in my time zone. That's how much money he's making. Look at that. Look at brother Bodhi. He hasn't said a word in the last 10 seconds. Look, he's loving his money. He doesn't even have to talk anymore. There's no, give me your money, mate. Or, <clears throat> Ah, with that, you know what I'm saying? There's no none of that anymore. Look, no talking, just just 
killing boss, making some money. Yeah, I mean, can't hate on the guy, bro. Besides Oda and Bodhi, aren't the smaller streamers losing tons of viewers growth by streaming on Kick? The streamers that average less than 500 live viewers on Twitch just gave it up for a signing bonus. There's no way people like Alfie and Tasty Life got that big of an offer to make the loss of viewers worth it, right? It's a fair take. I see what he's saying. If you're an established RuneScape streamer, then you'll be fine. But I guess smaller streamers won't be fine if they sign forward, but that's completely up to them if they want to sign or not. It's the best of the best. No joke, you get to watch any stream ad-free. I literally can't sign into Twitch without seeing a 3-minute ad. I'd be watching someone explain how to do a bossing on stream step by step, and then BAM! They play an ad right when he's saying something crucial. I mean, he's not wrong on kick, you get no ads. Alright, everybody looks like they're saying the same take, uh, take over and over again. I generally mean it when I say this. Good for them, get that bag. Twitch is unwatchable without turbo, and the revenue spit is so much better on kick. Also, for anyone who cries when they see the gambling category, go into your profile settings on kick and turn off that category. You can also turn off hot tub streams. Yep, I literally said this earlier. Twitch doesn't even have this and they still uh, showcase gambling and hot tub streams 24 seven on Twitch. So, I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of hate revolving around Bodhi's name and a lot of streamers that signed. I will say that a lot of streamers that signed, there was over 50 RuneScape streamers. I will say that a lot of them also were talking shit when I got signed and now they got signed and now they're just loving kick, right? I will say though that I am a trendsetter. Yeah, I'm going to be the one to say it. I was the first RuneScape streamer to get signed a year ago on Kick. We're signed for a very long time, so I'll be live every day at kick.com slash Odablock. Happy for Bodhi. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that man got a crazy amount of money to come over. A stupid amount of money. So happy for him as well. And we'll see what has in store for the RuneScape section. <laughs> That's what I told him as well. That's crazy. Anyways, editor, cut that segment out. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below about this segment. Go ahead and tell me about your takes and your thoughts about uh, Bodie and all these other guys getting signed. I'll be live every single day at kick.com slash Thank you.